Okay, Hawks, earlier today and yesterday, we talked about Van Helmont, and we talked about his experiment where he put soil, grew the tree, and he realized the tree wasn't eating soil, but it did need water, and his only thought really was that plants just need water, and that's what's helping them grow. A couple other scientists around that same time or so do some other experiments that help us see what else plants need. So I'm going to watch a video together, and I'll kind of pause it and talk occasionally. Let's get it started. In the late 18th century, it's the fashion among scientists to investigate gases. One eminent scientist suggests that plants give off gas. Ingenhouse sets up an experiment to find out if this is true. Well, uh, sometimes it's good to say the name, say Ingenhouse. His name is Jan Ingenhaus. His test was simple. He collected leaves from his garden and he put them in water. Ingenhaus then observed his experiment. When watching plants, patience is important. So pause, ask yourself. I actually did this with my boys tonight. We got a bunch of leaves off the trees. We got some other kind of leaves. We put them in a jar, we filled it with water and we sealed it. How could water help Ingenhouse recognize if there's anything going on with gas and air and plants. My boy's gonna figure it out. Think for a moment. What is he looking for? Ingenhouse if you decide that if he puts plants under water, any gas given off will rise to the surface as bubbles. Yeah, so for you. Hopefully you caught it there. Ingenhaus believes that if plants are like breathing like we do, then when you go under the water, you release bubbles. Plants should do the same, and you should be able to actually see them breathing under the water. Um, if you decide to do this experiment, it's really easy. Just know that it's going to take a while. They're not immediately going to release little bubbles. But if you leave it out for a while, you might see something. Let's keep going. This will give him a clue as to how plants grow. As much as he tried, he could not get any of his submerged leaves to give off any gas. Until one day, his attention is caught by a sample in a shaft of sunlight. Once again, Ingenhaus observes his experiment. This is the key. You'll have to put it in the sunlight. After just 10 minutes, something really interesting is happening. Sample in the shade, same old story, nothing. But the sample in the shaft of light is different. Tiny bubbles of gas are emerging from the leaves. For Ingham House, this was a really exciting moment. For the first time, he had made the connection between sunlight and the production of gas in leaves. Ingenhaus proves that plants exposed to sunlight do indeed give off a gas. Now he wants to find out what that gas is. So because of Ingenhaus's experiment, we know that plants are doing something with the air around them. And because of Van Helmont's experiment, we know that they're not eating the soil but they are taking the water. And these pieces together help us actually answer that question. Do plants need soil to grow? No. So what do they need? We know they need water, and we know they're doing something with the air. And we know that sunlight matters. <laughs> 